Because of geography, Vietnam is extremely vulnerable to the impact of climate change. The country has a long coastline of over 3,000 kilometers exposed to storms and rising sea levels. The main population centers of Vietnam are located in low-lying river deltas susceptible to flooding. Vietnam's cities will bear the brunt of climate change. Rapid growth of the economy and urbanization will intensify the destructive impact of climate change. Today, Vietnam is home to over 93 million people, with 36% living in cities. By 2030, half of the population will be urban. Ho Chi Minh City is the largest urban center, contributing more than 30% to the country's GDP. It ranks among the top 10 cities in the world to be severely affected by climate change. The city is situated in a river delta on the banks of the Saigon River, with an average elevation of less than one meter above sea level. There is frequent flooding in the city due to the double threat of heavy rains and rising sea levels, combined with rapid, unplanned urban development and poor infrastructure. Flooding will only get worse as the city grows and global warming leads to further sea level rise and extreme weather events. On the southern tip of Vietnam lies the Mekong Delta, a low-lying region dominated by rivers and canals. A floating market sells fruit and vegetables grown in the fertile delta, known as the food basket of Vietnam. The population of the Mekong Delta is 18 million and is increasing rapidly, especially in the urban centers. One study estimates that a one-meter rise in sea level could displace more than seven million residents of the delta. In the coastal province of Bac Liu, a sea wall is under repair after being breached by high waves. For coastal communities of Bac Liu, the sea wall is the only defense against rising sea levels. The natural protection provided by mangroves has been lost along much of the coast. Now a large belt of mangroves is being replanted in Bac Liu to shelter the city from storms and high waves. The government has recognized the importance of restoring natural systems to increase climate and disaster resilience. The city of Long Xuan is situated on the Hao River, a major tributary of the Mekong. In addition to chronic flooding, cities like Long Xuan face serious environmental challenges. Canals are polluted with sewage and solid waste. In most towns, there is no wastewater treatment. Sewage drains into canals and rivers, degrading water quality and posing a threat to public health. Urban planning and investment in basic services and low-cost, climate-resilient housing have not kept up with the rapid growth of cities. Not far from Longxuan, a section of riverbank collapsed recently, sending homes plunging into the Hao River. Fortunately, a large crack provided an early warning in time to evacuate people living close to the riverbank. As urban areas expand, the need for improved land use planning and zoning is vital to reduce the risks of disasters that imperil lives and communities. The city of Lao Cai is located in a valley of the mountainous northwest region of Vietnam. The highlands face their own particular environmental challenges and are prone to severe erosion and landslides. During the rainy season, there is a danger of flash floods of mud and water pouring down hillsides into the city. Residents get little warning as a sudden surge sweeps through streets and homes in low-lying neighborhoods. In central Vietnam, the historic city of Hue is an important tourist destination. Until recently, the city was prone to heavy flooding from the Hung River, which flows through the city. Now flooding has been greatly reduced by a new multi-purpose dam and reservoir which controls the flow of the river into the city. Hue aspires to become a green city with good services where the environment and public health are not damaged by urban development. 
The city has formulated a Green City Action Plan with support from the Asian Development Bank. The first phase will focus on rehabilitating the old neighborhoods surrounding the Imperial City, upgrading drainage infrastructure and cleaning up polluted lakes and canals. Technical assistance from ADB will assist the government to formulate a new national urban development strategy. The goal is to enable urban centers to continue to energize the economy while creating green, livable cities prepared for a changing climate.